Hello, uh, today I'm going to do a review of the uh, Salomon Trail 20 rucksack or backpack. And before I purchased this, I actually read loads of reviews online and uh, kind of made the decision this was a bag for me. I'm going to give a really honest review of it and how I feel there are some pros and there are some cons. And uh, it's something that either I'm very unique in noticing or... Um, it's something that other people just simply uh, overlooked or they don't maybe see it as a particular issue. Now in terms of the bag, the, the way it looks, I mean aesthetics to be honest with you shouldn't be everything but it's quite nice to have a bag that's not too kind of um, uh, leery and stand, uh, stand outish. However, what I would maybe say is if you are doing some uh, running in a slightly darker areas you might choose to have a, a lighter bag and maybe with more reflective parts on it that might be something you choose to have especially if you are deep in the forest as well and you are uh, running with other people and perhaps you get separated you know sometimes in those situations um, any kind of point of um, vision is very very useful uh, to locate each other so the bag itself is incredibly lightweight it's got these vents on the back that are supposed to keep your back incredibly cool when you're running um, I've not noticed them being that effective to be perfectly honest with you I mean it's still pretty warm it's not like it's an air conditioned unit back there but it does sit really really nice on your back it's got a lot of stability and as I mentioned it's very very lightweight and so it's a bag that you can run um, with quite a bit in there uh, without it feeling like it's really really weighing you down or without feeling like you are losing um, that stability that you need when you're running especially on trails if you start to lose balance uh, that's when injuries can really happen quite quickly so the bag itself aesthetically very nice you have got across the front here the option to uh, clip at the higher level over across your chest there that's pretty good um, doesn't rub uh, you don't get any discomfort from that and of course you can change it depending on how tight you want it You've of course got these little parts here. If you choose to run some hydration pack through, that is very helpful. There is a second connection down here at the bottom. Sorry, I had to just collect that there. So this brings together the two side pockets or the side compartments. So you clip that there, go straight across your waist. Compartment number one, this zipped pocket here. Now this may sound really petty, and again, perhaps I'm the only person to pick up on this, but I find it quite irritating when I am running and the zip is this side. I'd much prefer it to be this side, because then I could just open it a, a small amount and just grab whatever I need to in there. Because it's opposite side, it's actually, I find it really quite awkward. Uh, perhaps I need a person to, to feel that, but I think the zip should have just been placed the other way. Unless there's a particular reason that I've just completely missed out on why that needs to be. You can imagine, you know, when you've got this on your back, you reach around here to, to grab something. Um, I'm, I'm trying to pull the zip here. It's not here. It's, it's there. And then it's kind of awkward. You're trying to grab it. You've got to put one hand across the other to get in there. The pocket itself is quite good. There's a lot of space in there to put in all your uh, nutrition if you need to. This pocket over the side is just simply a stretchy pocket. I've tried putting things in there, they call it kind of a trash pocket where you just throw everything that you don't need, any kind of rubbish, stop it going on the floor, but it would have been probably more useful just to have another zip pocket, to be perfectly honest with you, because I tried to put a mobile in there and I feel like it's not as secure as I want it to be when I'm running, so uh, that's kind of a, a void that I don't really make much use out of. Now, the other issue I have, when you got this pack on, you've got these two netted compartments here which if it's on your back, the netted compartments obviously are to the side. Let me tell you something though, when you're running with this, you cannot comfortably reach these pockets. You kind of have to do something a little bit awkward. Let me just give you an example. So I've got my pack on, but it's not too tight. I try and, I'm trying to get to the, I'm trying to get to the bottle. Um, the, the twist I kind of have to, to try and get there, it's really, really awkward. Same on the side as well. I'm kind of look. I can't just can't quickly reach. It's right back there. 
Now, you could argue maybe it's not designed for that. It's just designed to be in the compartment for holding. But for me, when I'm running, I like to be able to just grab a drink. I don't often use hydration packs. So if it's tight on me like this here, I'm, I'm really having to twist and to, to get the bottle. And of course, the bottle sits a little bit further up. But once you've got it out, you drink, trying to get it back in, it's equally awkward. So I find that quite annoying. And I, I, when I'm running, I don't want to be doing this extra twist motion uh, and risk anything here, any kind of injury, because it's quite easy to do. You're running along at a, at a pace, you suddenly twist, and you just catch yourself off guard. It's not really what you want. So it's not bad. It's okay as a pack, but I just see so many issues with it that I'm, um, I'm not able to use it as frequently as I want to. I kind of tend to use it when I'm going on more of a, a lighter a jog or an outing at the moment. I'm not using it for, I guess, its intended purpose. A big compartment inside, which is really good. Got this little elasticated section here, and you've got a, a pocket at the back. Of course, bear in mind that this pocket at the back here, you start putting any particular foods that you want, they're gonna get hot because that's the part that's closest to your back. Um, it's just a, a word of warning. Most people probably put a hydration pack in there, but the same thing applies. It's not going to remain particularly cold if you've got it against your back, which is going to heat up. At the moment, I'm running in the summer, so it may well act slightly differently in the winter, but nevertheless, it's um, it's a bag that, like I say, it's, it's got some pros. I think it's got a lot of cons. I mean, please inform me if I've completely misunderstood how to use this bag and why why I should be actually quite pleased that these pockets are more or less not reachable unless you've got particularly long arms. The, yeah, Salomon Trail 20. I bought on the strength of reviews. Um, I'm disappointed with it. I'm really disappointed with it. I'm now looking to get uh, another bag that caters for my needs because that really is um, is not doing the job that I need it for. And like I say, I may be very unique in these ideas and these thoughts. If you have the opportunity to get into a shop and try it on, I would strongly suggest that. I bought this off of the internet, um, having not actually obviously seen it physically in person. Had I seen it in person, I wouldn't have bought it. It's as simple as that. I got a pretty good deal on it, so I'm not uh, really devastated, but uh, I'm just disappointed that there are a couple of things I just don't get about the bag. Um, perhaps as a, a variation, or a different model that would be more suitable for me but that bag is relatively redundant for the purpose I want to use it for so I'll probably go with an S Lab or something a little bit different or choose a completely different brand altogether but I thought I'd just put this review out there because when I was looking for reviews of this bag any I could find were incredibly positive and I couldn't really see any fault with what people were saying but I wanted just to highlight this and uh, it may well be relevant to you, it may it may not, but uh, I, hopefully it's the most honest review I can give. It does a job. Is it going to do the job that you want it to do? And that's a question you need to ask yourself. Has it got enough features that will benefit you, um, or has it not? So that's the review of this bag here. If you have any questions, just ask me below. I'm more than happy to answer for you. But I thought I'd just put this video out there as a point of reference for anybody who is thinking about purchasing this bag or a similar bag with design features that are mirrored in the bag that I've just shown you.